Hello everyone, uh, this is Ashwant. It's been a while I have uploaded videos in YouTube, right? So I have been um, really missed uh, uploading videos in the YouTube. So now I'm back with uh, video sessions. So now uh, I'm going to uh, what going to have a video about an interesting technical stuff. So uh, now in this video I'm going to teach you, I'm going to explain you in a simple way what API is. API stands for Application Program Interfaces. Uh, might you have been hearing this word in many many times in your academic related subjects or internet anywhere if you search for a definition in Google you find many definitions but it is not uh, that much simpler so I'm going to explain you in a simpler manner what does application program interfaces stands for and how to use APIs so um, let me take a simple example remember that example so it's saying uh, you went to a restaurant. Uh, this is this example is similar to model view controller example I have explained earlier in my later in the previous videos. See, uh, you are like you went to the restaurant and you need to have some food item which is in the kitchen. So, what will you do? Um, do like you don't directly go to the kitchen and ask your item, right? In between, there is an uh, there is a thing called controller. Controller in the sense there is a server or maybe uh, the the man uh, who gives you menu, right? So that man is a controller here. So simply he is a supplier, right? So if you order any food item, he is like a menu item. So you simply ask your controller and controller goes to the kitchen and he collects the item and he gives it back to you. See how it uh, works on, right? You order a food item to the controller. Controller uh, goes to the kitchen and he gets a food item for you and gives it back to you. So this is how simply um, API works in programming. See, um, in cases like um, like flight flight ticket booking or bus ticket booking, consider a red bus app. See, any this is a red bus or anything, any application, right? So you you uh, you simply searches for uh, like any bus ticket, right? In this red bus, it contains super luxury bus details, normal uh, like uh, normal RTC bus tickets, and Volvo buses, and other state buses. Everything, right? Every bus details, every bus timings is contained in this app. So consider this is a red bus app. You simply go on search, and you can see you, you can even book any kind of buses in this platform. Don't you ever think? These are different uh, different organizations, so these are different web, lo web locations and these all have different databases. So how can Redbus database collect the, all these items? Uh, do all these databases have the access to the Redbus? No, not at all possible because no one can give that access, right? So simply they are all created an application program interfaces so that if you uh, search for the details, it immediately the API searches all these and gives you the result. See, this is how actually APIs work. Even there are many famous APIs like login with Google and login with Facebook option is available in almost every website nowadays. So these are not APIs. They don't have the actually access to the database of Google and Facebook, but they can. This is because of API, even Azure, like Azure services, AWS services. So mostly they are all uses API. So hope you understand what API is. Um, thank you for watching.